Hey there, it's Mark with Mark's Astro Journey. In this video, I'm going to compare Easy Denoise and Noise Exterminator. And I'm also going to show the results of my imaging session of the Monkey Head Nebula in show color palette. One of the common challenges we face in astrophotography is dealing with noise captured along with the signal. And we're hoping for a higher uh, signal ratio to noise, right? But sometimes we we can uh, do certain things that will reduce the noise, and other times we're still going to get some noise in our captured data. And these sources of the noise are typically things like shot noise or insufficient light hitting the sensor, dark current noise, also called thermal noise, uh, related to heat from the sensor. And then there's read noise, which is related to the camera electronics. And then finally, there's uh, fixed pattern noise. Often we overcome this fixed pattern noise using um, darks, bias frames, or flat frames as our calibration frames. But still the challenge is there uh, at times that not all the noise gets removed and we have to try to uh, manage that noise in our post-processing. So I wanted to show an example of what the noise exterminator will accomplish. Here is the H-alpha stack of the monkey head nebula. And I captured 30 180 second light frames for hydrogen alpha and then the same amount of time for oxygen and sulfur. So if we zoom into this image, this stack, we can see that the noise is present. And what I wanted to show is if we just run the noise exterminator with the default values, don't change anything, the effect that it has on reducing the noise. So it's a fairly dramatic reduction of noise, as you can see. It really um, improved the quality of the image. And sometimes the only thing that run into with these tools, and I've seen this with multiple of these tools, is there might be some artifacts in the image. And what I notice in this image is there's there's a black spot here and a black spot here. So that's the one thing um, I've been seeing, and I, I've seen this with, also with um, the easy scripts. There's an easy script for doing denoising. The Easy Processing Suite has also Easy Denoise, and it also seems to leave some artifacts sometimes when you run that script. But you can definitely see the, the power of this tool for cleaning up the noise in the image. So let's undo the change, and now we see our noise is back, and let's run the Easy Processing Suite Easy Denoise script. And I'm not going to change anything, I'm just going to go ahead and run this, and we'll see um, what it does. The easy denoise script is going to run for quite a while, so I'm just going to cut to the end after it's done. So here we see the result of the easy denoise script, and I'm going to save this so we can do like a side by side comparison. So here we can see a comparison. Here's the image in the center before I started trying to do denoise. On the left, we have the outcome with easy denoise script. And then on the right, we have noise exterminator results. And I'm zoomed in pretty close so the noise will really show up. And I think you can see uh, not changing any settings. It looks like Noise Exterminator does a better job by default of removing the noise. However, each image is different in each imaging session. And of course, it could be that in one case, one tool would do a better job than the other. So I think, you know, a person would have to have all the tools in their pocket that they can available and then see which one works the best on a case by case basis. But in this case, uh, it's pretty clear to me that without having to do a lot of tweaking, Noise Exterminator did a better job using default settings of removing the noise and easy denoise. To conclude the video, I thought I would show the final image produced by my post-processing on the Monkey Head Nebula. And again, I used Astro Pixel Processor for stacking. I used the Optolong Hydrogen Alpha, Oxygen 3, and Sulfur 2 filters. And I used um, PixInsight, Graxpert, and Noise Exterminator, Blur Exterminator, along with other PixInsight utilities to produce the final image. I thought it turned out pretty good. Of course, this is in the a show color palette, and I was pretty happy with the final result. Wishing you clear skies.